In this problem, we're asked to find the amount of work done on an object as a result of a force. We're given the magnitude of that force, the angle uh, from the positive x-axis that the force is being applied, the mass of the object, and the position that the force is going, or that the object is going to end up at at the end of the motion. To solve this problem, remember that work is defined as the dot product of the force acting on the object along with the displacement that the object is being moved over. Now, if you aren't super familiar with the dot product, that's okay. It's fairly simple. All it really means is that we're going to take the x component of the force and multiply that by the x component of the displacement. Then we'll take the y component of the force and multiply it by the y component of the displacement. And then we'll take those products and then add them together. And that's the work. And that's all it is. So to do that in this case is actually pretty simple. We're given the displacement in components, where the i here refers to the x component, and the j here refers to the y component. And although we're only given the force as a magnitude, we are given the angle, so we can use sines and cosines to find the x and y components. So we'll first take the x component of the force, which of course is just going to be the magnitude of the force that the problem gives us, multiplied by cosine of the angle, times x, the, the x component of the object's displacement, which again is given to us as the component here, plus the y component of the force, so f times the sine of theta, multiplied by the y position. So now we can simply just plug this into our calculator using 10 newtons for f, uh, both f's, uh, 150 degrees for theta, and then for x and y, we'll just use the x and y components given to us in the position vector, where 2.0 meters is x and 4.0 meters is y. Rounding the two significant figures and plugging this into your calculator, this should get you an answer of about negative 37 joules. And that is our final solution.